Uh, okay, I'm gonna tell you guys a story about whenever I went to the uh, to the health department. Okay, because people's are crazy in there. I'm just saying. Uh, okay, so so I went because as a responsible human being, I had to go and get checked. Right? You know, just but I was kind of scared to go alone, so I invited a couple of my friends. So I was like, hey, you guys, would you accompany me? And so I get there, and I don't really don't know what to say or how to like spark it up, you know? Like, I'm nervous, and so I go to the lady, and I'm like, I whisper to her, and I'm like, hey, uh, I need to get checked. She goes, what? I was like, I need to get checked. She goes, oh, you need to take an STD test. I was like, yes. Do I know you from somewhere? I cut hair. Okay. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> but it was, weird. It was it's weird because whenever, uh, like, I was like, yeah, that's what I need to do. She's like, well, we can't do it today. You're going to have to come back and, and do all this. I was like, all right, so just set me up. So, you know, I had an appointment or whatever. I went, and uh, the, the doctor lady, she just started asking me all these weird questions. Was, I'm sure it was legitimate questions to ask. And uh, she goes, so how many people have you been with? I'm like, why are you so interested in my life right now? I'm standing here with my pants down, and it's very cold. Um, she, she, the, uh, I'm try trying to remember which test it is that you have to uh, pee in a cup or get the swab. You know what I'm talking about? The huge swab. <laughs> she goes, uh, I was like, she's like, do you want to you pee in this cup? I was like, well, I don't really feel like peeing. She's like, well, we have this swab. And I was like, you know what? Give me some water. I'm going to go pee. Because this is, I was, like, I was like, really? I'm not black. I can't. What is this? Why is it that big? I, I didn't know. So um, it, was, uh, it was very weird. And uh, little Jimmy there started getting a little excited. And it, it's just, it has, has a brain of its own, okay? It, I can't control it. And uh, until she said, all right, I'm going to need you to uh, take off your jacket, so I need to uh, take some blood out, right? And drawing blood from my arm is dangerous because I tend to pass out at the sight of blood. Uh, so I had to look away, and I literally started crying at the thought of a needle going in my arm. And she goes, are you crying? I was like, no. Why do you say that? And she's like, would you look at me? I was like, no, I can't look this way because I was like this. And she's like, oh, wait, I haven't even started. I was like, hurry up, because I was dying of the anxiety. I was having an anxiety attack. And she was like, I'm messing with you. I'm done. And I'm like tearing up. And I was like, is that it? And she's like, yeah, you'll have your results in a couple of weeks. And I was like, wow, a couple of weeks. That's an eternity to find out, right? You know, you can't wait. But I was clean. Don't worry. If you have a daughter, she won't have nothing by me. I'm just saying. Um, so, okay. I just wanted to share that interesting story because there seems to be like this this uh, thing going around. You know what I'm talking about, you teenagers? You know what I'm talking about, the Tillman scare? I'm just saying. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so I'm going to warn you guys. They said like the herpes is going around because some Tillman kids started it and all this and that. So don't be sleeping around with no teenagers, dude. No, no, no. I'm clean, dude. I'm clean. You can do whatever you want with me. Uh, and if you believe that. Uh, who's this? Who's, who's number five? I can't.